Jamie, where the hell you are? And your steak, Mr. Soprano. Enjoy. This is amazing. <laughs> hey, where's the wine? My God, Jamie. I wish I'd hired a duck for a waiter. Any duck is smarter than you. Papa, maybe you shouldn't talk to the waiter like that. This is my restaurant. I know my business. Get us some wine right away. Our best. Pinot Noir. I'll get it now, Mr. Soprano. I'll get it now. It should already be on my table by now. Maybe you better eat your steak. Steak is beautiful. <sighs> like mom cooks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so where is our wine, Jamie? Coming. Oh, Papa, please. I mean... It's unprofessional. Pinot Noir. The best in your restaurant. Mm. Is it really wine? Yes, of course, sir. You've been gone so long, I thought you were out in the vineyard, stomping the grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Alla vostra salute. Si. What a pleasant and unusual flavor. Oh, Mrs. Soprano, believe me. You will remember that flavor for the rest of your life. <laughs> Jamie, if, if only you work like you talk. <laughs> Lisa, maybe you've changed your mind and want to drink tea? Oh, no, thank you, Papa. I'm not in the mood today. Come on, try it. This wine is excellent. You're gonna love it. Try it. What the hell are you doing, huh? It's okay. It was just a fly and... That's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Frank, something needs to be done about this waiter. What fly, Jamie? Sorry. My restaurant is always spotless. Papa. There are no insects here except for you. Oh, come on, Papa. Nothing happened. Besides, look at you. Uh, I mean, you started out as a waiter, it's true, right? And I'm sure you spelled your share of wine. Yeah, I was a waiter. If I'd been like a Jamie, I wouldn't have been able to save up and buy my own place. I'd have blown all my money. Replacing broken glass. By the way, this is yours. You bought it with your paycheck if you have any left. I'm wondering, what do you owe me this month? Get us new drinks. No! Right away, Mr. Soprano. You know, Papa, I, I actually wanted to talk to you. Can I not go to Mr. Fox's house with you today? Wait, what's wrong? Is there a problem? I wanted to tell you for a long time that I'm... Well, I, I don't like his son, Victor. <sighs> Come on. He's a great guy. You should get to know him better. I know what's best for me and what's not, so I will decide what I will, what I will not do. You have a father who knows exactly what's best for you. And so you're gonna do what I tell you. Papa, but listen, you know, that's... No one will ever listen to you anymore. No one. Well, you've been doing whatever you want, humiliating everybody around you. You've been poisoning my life. But that's all gonna change tonight. Because I literally poisoned you, Mr. Soprano. This must be some kind of joke, right, Jamie? <laughs> if it's a joke, Jamie, then your game is over. You won't get away with this. But, Papa... Relax, Frank, if you don't want to die fast. Because this poison will do its job in an hour. And if you move fast, your old man's heart will speed up, and you die less than in an hour. So sit back down in your goddamn chair. Sit back down, now. Frank, now! Jamie, what, what's this? Are you kidding? You're out of your mind. Oh, that's right. What do you want? Shut up. I didn't let you speak. Now I want you to return all the money that you've been taking from my paycheck. 
Also, I won 50 grand on my account. There's gonna be some kind of a moral compensation. Why should I dump money on some waiter if I'm gonna die anyway? That's a very good question. Because I have the antidote. And I can give it to you so you can save yourself and your charming wife. But you have to be a good boy to get this. So you're gonna blackmail me? That's right. You're a bad waiter, Jamie, but an even worse negotiator. Oh, really? Besides, why should I even believe you that this wine was poisoned in the first place? Did you really think you could fool my husband with this cheap ploy? You're even more pathetic than I thought. <laughs> no, wow. Mom. Sir. Mom. <laughs> That's what I call perfect timing. That's what I call wrong decision. So, Frank, think better. Because your greed could get people close to you killed. You have to stop this. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? How many times you told me that he abuses you, huh? How many times he made my life living yeah, hell? Yeah, that's right. But he, he's my father and he's not going to change. Oh, God. You look nothing like a man that I fell in love with. What? Are you dating him? You have to stop this. It's not too late to stop this madness. This is our chance. We're gonna get plenty of money. We'll run away to Italy. That was our dream, right? Yeah, but not at this cost. Well, you're right at least about something. I would never let my daughter be with someone like you. Frank, stop screwing around. Just send the money. It's so simple. Send the money. Give me the antidote. I'm not giving you anything. I'm not giving you anything. Jamie, if you love me, just give me the answer. Shut up and sit down. What are you doing? This boy you're gonna die. Lisa. What are you doing? Are you crazy? No, you're crazy, Jamie. Now choose. Either it's me or the money. And you'll be responsible for my death. You are the same. Frank, send money on my account now. Are you serious? Yes. And you'll be able to save your daughter, your wife, and yourself. You'll be some kind of a local hero, right? But that's my last word. Finally. bucks. Your daughter is dying and you're sending me 20 bucks? That's the tip. I always leave the waiters no matter what the service was like. I took out of your account because of your own stupidity. I was treating you the way my first boss treated me. I wanted to show you something that would toughen you up and made you stronger like it did to me. That's why I won't give you a pain. I can't believe you're so greedy that you're gonna kill your own family, right? And you're telling something about me? You made your decision. She made her decision. And guess what? He made his decision. That is my decision. No! Yes! Nobody in this family is gonna manipulate me. Never again. And this is, Frank, this is the consequences you're gonna live with forever. Going. You are far from the smartest guy here, Jamie. Don't move! I'm, I'm just a waiter! I'm just a waiter! Come on, I'm just a waiter! Here, here, please! Here. So, you go, uh, how? Call the police with my Apple Watch. <sighs> I love 21st century. You got it all figured out, as usual. I would never risk my family, honey. Thank you. Hi, it's me, Gary, the showrunner of Dramatizing. Nice to see you guys again. We are about to hit two million subscribers, and now we really need your help. Like, share this video, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
take care and see you.